I'm sorry, I can't hear. Can you repeat that question again? Yeah, you know, we, we, we share that, that pain, that heartbreak that many of our protesters feel. Um, as I stated yesterday, um, as a black man, I've had encounters with law enforcement before. People in my family have had encounters with law enforcement before that we know looking back at it now, those encounters could have gone better. No one is immune from that. No black person is immune from that. And so uh, it is painful. And as I said earlier, it's compounded pain, right? It's compounded pain. Because once you have a traumatic incident like that, it sticks with you, right? Before I was ever in public service, there were moments where a cop car got behind me, my heart raced, my blood pressure went up. Why, why is that? Why is that? That should not be the experience shared amongst black men. Shouldn't. That fear is what we saw when there was a knee on George Floyd's neck. That's the, that's the pain, that's the, that's the suffering right there. And then time and time and time again, the same images. That's the pain that is being unleashed right now. As I stated earlier, we welcome folks to express that pain by ex exercising their First Amendment rights, right? But we ask that you do it peacefully. Because we believe there is no change that can come from violence. Exercising essentially an injustice on the city by vandalizing, by acts of destruction. Two wrongs don't make a right. The injustice in Minneapolis with a knee on a man's neck and violence and destruction in the streets of the city of Richmond. Both those wrongs don't make a right. We all know that we are, we are better people than that. And my request is those who've chosen a different path that has not been peaceful, to rise to the occasion of the peaceful Richmonders who've been expressing that pain. Last question, Brent. Mayor, we saw some uh, challenges in other cities when there was a curfew that led to more attention when it came to enforcement. What's the expectation going in, and how do we kind of fight that fine line? With, we are, with excessive force being the allegation of enforcement. I think Chief Smith has stated earlier that, you know, we have done our, you know, we've done a, a, a good job in practicing restraint over the last 48 hours. But the curfew is necessary because there are some bad actors who are just not complying at all, right? I, I don't rush to paint a broad brush of those who've shown up in our streets over the last 48 hours, right? Many of them have come there to protest and demonstrate peacefully. And I expect that will, will remain. There are events on the calendar today and tomorrow that I expect that will be peaceful. However, we are responsible for the safety of life and property in this city. And we will protect such. And the chief, alongside our partners, will ensure that uh, we do that. 
Uh, we recognize that there's been issues in other places, but that's why we, we come prepared. And they will be prepared to, to respond appropriately.